30 minute workouts, 20 minute recipes, 10 minute mindfulness. Ready to become? Get filled on the App Store or Google Play. Hi guys, it's Joanna here. Welcome back to another workout session. Today's workout will be focusing on your lower body. We want to work on adding more strength and endurance to your legs, butt and also thighs. So this workout is low impact, so we will not be jumping around, okay? But at the same time, it will be high intensity. So we want to move from one exercise to the next exercise with very little rest in between. Grab your water bottle, grab your towel and let's do this 30 minutes workout together. Let's start with a quick warm up, okay? So easy hip rotation just to loosen up your hips, joints, and really to prep the muscles in our legs, all right? So rotate to your left, big rotation, all right? Good. Give me four more on this side, and we want to change the other side, all right? Change, hip rotation, good, big circles very nice there will be lots of squats and also lunges in this workout you're gonna love it few more last one and good okay now let's just start the warm-up with a little bit of squats okay again toes pointed forward step shoulder width apart and push your butt back okay nice and easy just go as low as you can and remember to always keep your chest up good few more squat low last one more and good okay let's work on a little bit of stretches for your hip flexor okay so what I want to do is get into a plank position step forward open up to the side place it down step change side Stretch it up, back down, out, up, reach as high as you can. Feel the stretch on your back as well, okay? If you can't step so far forward, then that's fine. Just go as far as you can. Give me one more on each side. Left, right, and now slowly inch yourself back up. Okay, very good. So each workout will be for 40 seconds long with 20 seconds rest in between, okay? So what I want to do now is just give me a few more leg curls and we want to get straight into the first workout, which will be in and out squat pulses. All right, last two more. One more. And the first workout will be an in and out squat pulse, double pulse. So it's gonna be one, two, step out, one, two, in, one, two, okay? So try to stay low. If you can't, step up, down, pulse, up, and pulse. Good, so working on your thighs and the outer part of your glutes. In, really push it back, out, and in. Good, always remember to keep your toes pointed forward. Keep going. Challenge yourself, just stay low. Stay low, out, very nice. So, we're starting off really gentle, just to warm up the legs. All right, now, forward and back lunge, okay? So, let's work on one leg at a time. Let's start with your left leg. So, step right in the middle, okay? What I'm going to do is, brace your core, take a wide step forward into a lunge, tap, back in the middle and take a step back, all right? Let's do this together. Step forward, tap, step back. If you want to, you can place your hands on your waist. Remember, as you lunge, try to go as low as you can and keep your knees bent. 90 degrees, okay? Wide step forward, wide step back. Find your balance, look straight ahead. Find one focal point, good. Keep going, step back, forward. So you should feel the burn on your right legs and your glutes as well. Nice. And 
Good job, change side, okay? So now we're working on moving the right leg and you should feel the burn on your left thighs. So brace your core, look straight ahead. Remember, we're taking a wide step forward, okay? Trust yourself and really brace your core. Let's go, wide step forward, tap, tap, okay? So tapping in the middle will help you to reset your stunts. Wide step, tap, and back. Don't rush through this workout, all right? Really feel the engagement on your legs. Feel the burn. Wide step, and remember to keep your body upright. So do not hunch or lean forward. If you're doing this, this is wrong. Step wide, tap, last one more. Let's go, one forward and rest it out. Okay, still working on our legs. It's going to be a step and a reach, okay? We're going to add in a little bit of cardio just to add that afterburn, all right? So what I want to do is take a slight step forward, reach up with your left leg, step back, reach and tap, okay? So stay low. Keep your right knee bent. Stay low, reach and step. Good. So the burn should be on your right leg, keeping it bent, keeping that low squat position. Reach and reach. Good job. Huh. Feel that burn on your glutes. That's what we want. Reach up, okay? Stretch it out. Last five more seconds. Tap and tap. Give me two more. One, two, and shake it out. Okay, we have two legs, okay? So now we're working on the other side. So ready? Shake your thighs, pat it, give it some massage, okay? All right, now right leg back. Ready, take a step back, reach up. I want to really keep your left knee bent and tap. Good, feel your heart rate increasing. Tap, reach and tap. Imagine you're pulling something towards your chest, okay? Reach and tap, and tap. Keep going, pace your breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, you're almost there. You have 10 seconds left. Oh, feel the burn, and that's what we want. Keep going. Last three more, two, one, up. Okay, as you might notice, we're focusing on one leg at a time because by doing that, you will feel that you're working on both muscles and if you do experience muscle imbalance, this is a good way. All right, so the next workout is going to be a reverse lunge with a kickback. So step back, come up, lift it up, step up. Again, working on one leg. It's gonna require more balance on your side. So don't rush through the workout. Find that balance, lunge down, lift it up, feel your butt, especially under your glutes. Squeeze it, hold it for one count, come back up, up, squeeze it, and up. Good. Woo. Nice, last one more. Good. Okay, change side, okay? Working on your right side. So reverse lunge with a leg lift. Are we ready? If you need to grab some water, go ahead and do it, okay? If you need to pause this video, go ahead and do it. But let's join me back in this workout and finish it. Let's go. Lunge back, up, back, and up. So it's working on strengthening your legs and also your core. Because by having a strong core, you will have better balance. Keep going, tap down, squeeze. Good, up and down. Nice. Last few more, stay with me. Last one more. 
<laughs> lost my balance just right there okay if you have a mat grab it if not you can just do this workout on the floor okay so what i'm going to do is get into all fours okay it's going to be a glute kickback with a side crunch so watch me all right so it's going to be a kickback to the side back and to a crunch back side back crunch remember tighten your core and making sure that you're staying on all falls and you're not tilting your hips up side up crunch good up side up crunch this one two three four one two three four and remember to just gaze onto the floor crunch it feel your obliques up and crunch good change the other side all right okay now let's work on the other leg again on all fours do not arch or do not hunch keep a flat back ready let's go up side up crunch kick it back to the side back and crunch it try to get your knee to reach your elbow good up side up crunch keep going side up crunch point your toes to the side feel the work on all angles of your hips and your glutes keep going a few more crunch it kick it back side back and crunch ah oh, very good job okay we have three more exercises and you will get a one minute break all right now sit on the floor this is going to be a single leg bridge okay so cross your right leg over your left leg what i want to do is lift yourself off squeeze feel the work on your left glutes down up as high as you can with a flat back chest towards the ceiling and if you are shaking that's good that's fine squeeze working on your left butt keep going push it up oh my whole body is working together up last two more up one more up down and just rest okay change side all right so left leg across now we're working on your right glute okay so try to really have a firm hook and point your fingers forward all right let's do this feet planted on the ground push it up bring it down up and down okay get into a bridge pose up very good breathe out as you come up okay drive your butt down do not rest lift it off back down up and down remember to push with your heels push it up good last few more and down okay we're going to end with a cardio blaster okay so get back up we're going to shuffle to the right touch the floor and shuffle to the left and i want you to stay low stay in a low squat throughout all right ready let's go double step tap double step and tap and the reason why i want you to tap the floor is to make sure that you're going low okay so tap remember squat low tap keep your feet light and tap very good 20 seconds and you will get a short one minute break right after this you deserve it so let's keep going 10 more seconds tap last one more on each side tap give me one more tap and up 
Okay. Oh, that was the end of the first round. Take a short break, drink some water, keep yourself hydrated, and we want to repeat the entire circuit once more. Okay, you have about 20 seconds left and it's going to be a total of 12 minutes, all right? You know all the exercises, so I want you to really give me your best effort. If you can, squat lower, lunge lower and really feel the burn on your thighs, your butt and just your lower body. And remember to engage your core. Let's start. In and out squat pulses, okay? So in, stay low, out, stay low. For the second round, Challenge yourself, just stay low and pulse. This is a love-hate relationship. Okay, stay low. Do not come up right now. Guys, it's only 40 seconds. You got this. You are strong. So let's keep going. Chest up, look straight ahead. Look at me, stay with me. I can see you sweating. I can feel a burn. We're in this together. Pulse, that's one more. Let's go on one more on the right side. Good. Back up. All right. Forward and back lunge. Okay? So, step right in the middle. Have more confidence in your self and take a wide step forward. All right? Let's ready. Let's get ready. And hands up. Let's go. Take a wide step forward. If you want to challenge yourself, step back immediately. Remove the step in the middle. This is gonna add more challenge. It's going to work on more balance as well. So, wide step forward, wide step back. Good. There you go, you got this. Keep going. If at all you feel like, oh my God, I'm losing balance. Then take a step back, reset, step forward, reset, step back and reset, okay? Go at your own pace and keep progressing. Very good, okay. Now, let's swap side. Oh, step right in the middle. We're going with our right leg forward and right leg back, okay? So it's going to really work on your left legs. Okay, let's go. Ready? Let's go, do this together. Wide step, wide step back, challenge yourself, and back. Good, and back. Nice. Remember, don't rush through the workout, okay? And back. Go low, lunge low, get your knees close to the floor, and back. Keep going, forward and back. And remember, if you need to reset, just take a step in the middle, step back, middle, and forward, okay? Keep going. That's one more, back and up. All right, okay, a little bit of cardio. So it's going to be a step and a reach. Let's give our right leg, a our left leg a short break. Let's work on our right side. So take your left leg back, okay? Left leg back, bend your right knee, reach up and pull it in. Step it out as fast as you can, okay? Step and reach as fast as you can. This is a short cardio workout. It is low impact, yet it's high intensity. Let's keep going. Reach, reach. Very good, halfway there. Keep going. Keep your right knee bent. And just breathe in and out. Nice. Last five seconds. Tap, 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 and one more. Ah, oh, shake it out, okay. Time for a short break for our right leg. Let's work on our left leg. All right, take a deep breath, okay? You deserve this short 10 seconds break. Okay, so right leg back. Let's get into position. Reach your hand up. All right, ready? Let's go, tap 
and tap. Reach, go low, okay? Really work on the single leg. Reach and tap. Find your balance. If you need to, just focus on one point. I'm with you, okay? My heart rate is going crazy. Burning calories, and that's what we want. We want the afterburn. Keep going. Last 10 seconds, reach. Reach as far as you can. Keep your elbows, keep your hands straight. Keep reaching, one more. Ah, and come back up. All right. Okay, short break for our left leg, okay? It's gonna be a, a lunge with a kickback, okay? Get into a reverse lunge. Woo, I need to breathe. <laughs> All right, my legs are on fire. Let's go, step back, up and squeeze. Squeeze, good. Nice. One count up, squeeze. There you go, squeeze. Very good. Firmly plant your right foot into the ground. Take this time to bring your heart rate down and breathe out. Breathe out as you come up. Okay, keep going. Lunge, kick back, squeeze your glutes, the under butt. One more and good. Check it out. Okay, the opposite side. All right. Oh, who's sweating? If you're sweating, if you're like me, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I am always sweaty right at the end of my workout. Okay, let's do this together. Right leg back. Squeeze. Good. Breathe out. Nice. Lift it off. Bend. Find the balance. And up. Good. Good. Okay, go as low as you can. If you can't go too low, that's fine. Just remove the lunge and just do the kickbacks, okay? If you can't do the lunge, just step, kick back, step, and kick back, all right? If not, let's do the full exercise. Kick back, up, kick, and kick. Okay, all right, we're getting down onto the floor. Your favorite move. It's going to be a glute kickback with a side crunch, okay? So remember, flat back, all right? And remember to point your toes. Kick it up, open to the side, keep a straight line, back and crunch. Four counts, one, two, three, four. As you open to the side, avoid from moving your hips too much. Up, side, back, and crunch. Take it slow, I want you to really feel the squeeze and the contraction on your butt. Up, and crunch, good. Up, side, up, and crunch. There you go. Last two more, okay? Give me one more. Up, open to the side, up, and crunch. Good. Change the other side. Oh, dripping. Okay. Again, set yourself. Spread your fingers for a firmer foundation, okay? All right, let's go. Kick your right leg up, squeeze your glutes out to the side, up again, squeeze it, and crunch it in. Up, side, squeeze, crunch. Good. There you go. One, two, three and four. Kick, side, kick, and crunch. Very good. Side, up, and crunch. Keep going. Up, crunch. Give me three more. Up, crunch. Up, and crunch. Let's do one more together. To the side, to the top, and crunch. Okay, all right, guess what? Three more minutes. Sit on your butt, take a short break. It's going to be single leg glute bridge, okay? So cross your right leg over your left, place your feet, place your left feet from the ground, 
and launch off, okay? <laughs> Lift your hips up and just look up, chest pointed to the ceiling, push it up. Feel the squeeze on your left butt, okay? Tighten your core, squeeze. Good. I am shaking, but I know this is working. Keep going. You're almost there. Down and up, okay? Really try your best to push all the way up, down and up. All right. Oh, shake it a little bit. Let's change side. Left leg across your right thigh. And again, place your hands firmly on the ground, okay? So don't let your right foot go too far forward. Have it firmly on the ground and let's go. Up, back down, lift it up. Slowly lower your butt down and up. Good. Don't rest, okay? Keep going. Squeeze. It's really important that you hold the pose for one count right at the top and feel the squeeze on your right butt. Squeeze it up. Good. Keep going. Up. Back down. Up. Few more. You're almost there, okay? Give me two more. Last one more. Up. Back down. And get back up. Time to get back up. One last 40 seconds. It's going to be a side to side shuffle with a touch down, okay? Tap the floor. Stay low, stay with me. Your last 40 seconds. Squat low, let's go. Side, tap, stay low and tap. Very good, okay? So I want you to stay low. Keep going, tap. And again, stay light on your feet. Breathe. Nice. Halfway there. 20 more seconds. This is your final round and you're getting a very deserving cool down. Tap. One more. Let's go. One more on each side. Last one. Oh, come back up. Okay. All right. Just stand up, okay? Wipe your sweat if you need to. Do not sit right now. I want you to just really take a deep breath in. Bring your heart rate back down. And just breathe, okay? If you need to, shake your thighs. Just shake it out, okay? Just left and right, shake it out. All right, let's do a quick cool down. All right, so what I want to do is just point your right toes to the side and just try to reach. If you want to take a wider step, just try to reach and feel the stretch on your hamstrings, okay? If you can't reach for your toes, then just hold on to your calf. Very good. And just feel the stretch on your right hamstring. Okay, just hold it for five more counts and bring your heart rate down. Okay, good. Now change side. Right toes pointed forward, left toes pointed out and reach. Good. We've worked on our legs for the past 25 minutes. So take this time to just lengthen the muscles and just stretch it out. All right, both toes pointed forward. This is one of my favorite hamstring stretches. Just grab your arms, link them together, lower your body down, keep your legs straight, and just swing to the left and to the right. I love this stretch. I can really feel the stretch on my hamstrings and just really let your weight carry you from left to right, okay? Don't fight against it. Just release all the tension and drop yourself. All right, okay. Few more stretches, okay? What I want to do is get down onto the floor, right leg forward, left leg back, and I want you to just reach your arms up and lean your body forward, okay? So you should feel the stretch on your left hip flexor. So just really lean forward. 
And now just drop your hands and twist to the side. Hold it. And change. Step back. Take a wide step forward. The other side. Drop, reach up. Okay? So you should feel the stretch on your right hip flexor. And now twist. And just look as far back as you can. Okay. And one more stretch, okay? If you can balance yourself, all I want to do is just grab hold of your left foot and just feel the stretch on your quads. All right, if not, just support yourself against a wall. Okay, good. We've worked on a lot of balancing. <laughs> so this might be a little bit of challenge right at the end. Drop it. Okay, right leg up. If you need to, just lift your left hand out. Stretch. Remember to point your knees down, okay? So you should not go forward or go too far back. Point it down and just balance yourself. Very good. And now, just drop it. Three deep breaths together. Let's just release all the stress, all the bad energy, and let's start or end our day with positive energy, okay? Let's go, deep breath. Breathe in. Two more, breathe in. And the last one, I want you to go really loud. Loud sigh. Ready, let's go, breathe in. Hold it. Okay, very, very, very well done. Amazing job, guys. That is the end of your 30 minute lower body focus. Do this workout consistently to increase the strength and endurance of your legs, thighs, and also butt. If you enjoy this workout, be sure to check out my own fitness app called Fuel, which is available on the App Store and Google Play. There are hundreds of HIIT workouts, yoga, pilates, kickboxing, and strength training. And all the workouts are taught by internationally certified trainers. So you're in safe hands and you will see results, okay? So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, share it on, and I will see you next time. All the best and stay safe.